Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore why Sweden's new A26 submarine is being called the world's first fifth-generation sub, uncovering how this quiet, mysterious vessel can slip through shallow waters, gather intelligence in silence, and carry out missions most submarines could never attempt. This design recently secured a massive defense contract. Poland recently announced it had chosen Sweden's Saab to supply three submarines in a multi-billion dollar deal central to Warsaw's effort to strengthen its defenses in the Baltic Sea. The decision places Saab's Blekinger-class submarine, also known as A-26 submarines, at the center of Poland's Orca program and has renewed global interest in a vessel Saab describes as the world's first fifth-generation submarine. But what makes this design special, and why is it considered the first of its kind? To understand this claim, it is necessary to examine the submarine's core features and its broader operational concept. Saab's own published material outlines the foundations of this classification, built around meeting NATO's emerging multi-domain operations requirements and delivering a combination of stealth, intelligence gathering, seabed warfare capability, and long-range strike options that mark a significant shift in modern submarine design. This definition of a fifth-generation submarine centers on the ability to contribute seamlessly to multi-domain operations. The stealth submarine integrates secure and interoperable ISR systems, advanced onboard data processing supported by AI, long-range strike options, and mission flexibility intended for coordinated allied operations. A central feature is the submarine's signature management approach. Saab highlights very low acoustic signatures, spanning frequencies beyond the traditional submarine spectrum, reduced magnetic signatures through advanced degaussing, optimized electric signatures, and minimized target echo strength using hull geometry and integrated coatings. Surface signatures such as radar, visual, and infrared are limited through specialized hull treatments. The Stirling Air Independent Propulsion System supports extended silent running. It has been developed for the Baltic Sea, one of the world's most complex naval environments. It is designed to remain undetected in both shallow littoral areas and deeper waters while collecting intelligence on adversary movements and communications without exposing itself. Saab emphasizes unrestricted mobility and persistent ISR as key attributes. This advanced submarine is built for seabed warfare, enabling the deployment of unmanned underwater vehicles, special forces, and seabed interaction systems through the multi-mission portal. A notable feature is its ability to lie on the seabed, using a strong hull and X-rudder configuration and special coatings to evade detection and conduct covert tasks. The submarine is equipped for long-range precision torpedo strikes and has the potential to operate submarine-launched missiles. This allows it to engage maritime or land targets as part of wider multi-domain actions. Electronic surveillance and passive signal detection form another layer of capability. The A-26 can classify enemy signals, enhance targeting data, and support coordinated kinetic and non-kinetic operations. With long endurance and sustained covert presence, the fifth-generation sub contributes to deterrence and operational control in strategic regions. It can support information warfare activities by exploiting or disrupting enemy communications and undersea cables, aligning with the Swedish Navy's concept of underwater information warfare. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.